Would like to be called Ed or Eddie? Uh, Eddie. Ed, okay. On my credit, it says Edward, but okay. just yeah. Eddie. Okay. So, Eddie, doing a story on mementos, you know, the type of things that actors keep from their movies. Now, from Terminator 2, what kind of mementos do you collect that you have at home right now? Um, I have, like, uh, the calendar for Terminator 2. I have um, the making of Terminator 2. And, uh, and I, I have a, I have... I haven't got that much stuff yet because all the stuff hasn't been released yet. But I'm going to have a lot of stuff in my room when the movie comes out. But any kind of props or anything from the film, the actual filming? Well, I have a backpack that uh, John wears in the movie and the watch because they're pretty cool watches and backpacks. Yeah. I've always had a real big fascination with dressing rooms. You know, the trailers that the stars sit in when they're waiting to shoot. Now, what was your trailer like, and what kind of uh, things were inside, and how did you kind of customize it? It was a trailer. It was like a trailer where there's half and half. One half is for one actor, and the other half is for another person, for me. Um, it's called a star trailer, and there was like a couch in there with a TV and a desk and a bathroom. Except the funny thing was that the other in the other side of the trailer, um, the T-1000 <laughs> was in. Um, so, uh, so I always told him, I, I, I almost like wanted him not to morph through to my trailer while I was using the restroom or something like that. Okay. Now, you were playing baseball one day when this whole uh, kind of adventure started. Now, what happened uh, during that game that uh, started all this? Actually, I wasn't playing baseball. I was <laughs> a lot of people said I was, but um, I was at the boys club, and the boys club is like a place where there's a lot of video games and places to hang out for kids. And there's a casting director, her name was Mally Finn, and she came over and she said, um, can I talk to you? And I go, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, I don't know, <laughs> what did I do? And she goes, I would like you to try out for Terminator 2. Well, with me with my weird memory, <laughs> she writes down my name, my address and everything, and I'm on the way home with my, with my aunt and uncle, Sean and Nancy. And um, they, I say, guess what? I'm gonna try it for a movie. They go, what movie? Uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Six, I think. <laughs> and um, they're saying, yeah, they're trying to get money out of you or something. And they tell all their friends that um, this casting director, <laughs> this fake casting director, they tell. Um, my uncle tells her his friend Angie and. Uh, uh, like Nancy tells her friends and everything. Um, then, like, I, I, the, she gets a call from the casting director, and the casting director says, I would like Eddie, Nancy gets a call, I would like Eddie to try out for Terminator 2. And then she's like thinking, Terminator 2? Oh, oh, okay, that's great. She hangs up the phone, calls me, Eddie, are you ready? And I go, ready for what? You're gonna try it for Terminator 2? I'm like, yeah, yeah! I'm like Terminator, Terminator, and all that. Yeah. And um, yeah. I go, I go on the first interview, and um, uh, that I is like I worked with the casting director and everything, and that went pretty well. I got on the finalist, and um, the second one was with Linda Hamilton and James Cameron, so that didn't go too well because I was a little nervous about meeting them. And then the third interview was after I. Where they gave me a chance to work with a dialogue coach for hours a day, so I finally went on my third interview, and Jim told me he was going to tell me Friday, except he came out and he said, um, uh, I would like you to do this movie, and I'm like, oh my God, and I get in the car and I'm like, yeah, and that's the story. <laughs> what was the, uh, when you first met Arnold, uh, when I met him for the first time, I was a little bit kind of psyched out. Uh, how did you uh, prepare for that, and how did that meeting go? I was like, kept getting prepared, but I didn't do a good job because I um, I shook his hand, like, but I went like this, and then Arnold's standing there like this, and I go, what? And he goes, shake it harder, and then I go, okay, and <laughs> I shake it really hard. So later in the movie, I've been shaking hands with him. What was the most impressive scene for you when you're watching it being filmed? Uh, was there ever like a scene that you were scared or you just kind of sat back and go, whoa, this is really impressive? 
there's a scene in the movie when the truck goes over the bridge for of a bridge in canal chase scene and that was the one that I thought was the most spectacular stunt I have ever seen because I saw that in real life I was there on the set watching it 